Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Recon here, and we have the Girls Act about to Halloween weekly update video for you guys. Yep, Halloween is just around the corner. Before we get into the rest of the video, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's free. Your support's really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, let's kick it. All right, so first off, we got three different girls up here. We have Aurora, Monica, and Apate. The two new skins for Monica and Apate, Halloween themed. They look, they, they look awesome. I like them. And then, of course, we have Aurora. No skin for her, but she's just coming out today. Ah, uh, today. And we will be doing this stream today at Server Reset, just so you know. So stop by for that. Okay. So, the event time is going to be the 29th to the 4th. It's the 28th to the 3rd for me. So, as always, if you're, if you're a day behind, remember, it's a day, your day behind. Daily rewards are three capsules. That's it. It's better than nothing, but hey, three capsules. Um, capsule points, four rounds. Um, Fiera is the food girl, and Aurora at 400 is the normal girl. Remember, if you were to do this, I'm not advocating for you to do Aurora. I don't think she's going to be that good. But you only need 1,880 capsules to finish 2K capsules because you get 120 from the event, just so you know that. But I would hold off pulling. Unless you're a mega whale and you just want to do it, that's on you. But everybody else, probably a hard skip for you. Not going to lie. Unless you have like 10k capsule saved up by some miraculous reason and you want to use it, you know, but that that's your decision to make. Also, we get ghost potions with this right here. Yes, they're called ghost potions. A pate drinks them and turns into a ghost. Weird, right? I know. Okay, and then we have capsule pack. This is just when you summon Aurora or any new girl when this happens. It usually happens when we have new girls. Uh, you get little extra rewards for pulling them or acquiring them, I should say. Girls X Exchange, we have Teresa and Holly. Oh boy, you better grab that Holly copy, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've been saving your transfer tickets because Holly, that is fire right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is great to grab. So by all means, I'm going to advocate for that Holly to be grabbed. Teresa, I don't really know how. Maybe she has a use in OC, probably not as much, but she's not really that useful right now. So you could probably hard skip her for now. I mean, you could get her copy and hold her in case she becomes better in the future and useful, depending on meta changes or game modes that come out. So if you want to do that, that's fine, but not a priority in building her at this moment. Also, we have Explorer Packs. So, first off, you should probably gab, grab, sorry, I said gab, grab the 500 gems and the five capsules with the 5,000 lunch boxes. That's, that's pretty much a given. Um, if you care a lot about upgrading your alt core, sorry. Ooh. I thought it was going to be small and it was a big yawn. Okay, so you could grab the 3,000 gem box with the servant crystals in there and the elite skills uh, resource box. I think right now, considering least skills on some girls matter dr dramatically, and all core on pets actually makes a huge difference in damage. Besides getting the 500 one, you should be getting the 3,000 one. That's just my personal opinion. People might argue with me, but I think the majority of people would kind of agree that that is, besides getting the 500, the next one to grab is the 3,000 one by far. Um, you could argue after that, you can get the 1,500 because it then rolls. It's harder for free-to-play players to get. You know, you could argue that before the 3,000, but I think the 3,000 is more important, honestly, to tell you the truth, with how the things are played by girls. But like I say, if you're just starting out, I could see the 1,500 being more important than the 3,000. But if you're a free-to-play player maybe for a year or so, 3,000 is probably better for you. That was a little complicated, ladies and gentlemen, but essentially, it just depends. Use a Discord and ask if you have actual questions. I should say that. Um, and then, of course, Raphael, Ruins, and Guild Coins. You're really only grabbing the last one uh, if you're trying to push your guild laps quickly. If you're not really caring about it. I don't know why I'm yawning today. Today is one of those days. Okay. Uh, if you are trying to push guild laps, right? Guild laps are extremely important on your girls. Don't get me wrong. You need to finish all of the first level search before you do any second levels on the guild laps. So if you're like some a player that's trying to push it really quickly in a newer server, you would go for this. I went for this when I was starting out because I had to push with all the whales in my cluster at the time. So if you don't have any whales in your cluster, you don't have to really push it. You can just skip the 8,000, but it's up to you. Some people will tell you to do it. Some people will tell you won't. It just all depends on what's in your cluster, so just keep that aware of what's going on for yourself. All right, now we have trick-or-treat, ladies and gentlemen. 
it's just for this week, so it's one week only. You have start and missions. Um, missions that we'll show in a second. It'll pop up. <clears throat> in this event, which Apate will drink a ghost potion? I don't see why she's a witch. She's a demon. She should just call her a demon still. You know, it's okay. Demons can turn into ghosts. Maybe. I don't know. But still, she's not a witch. She's a ghost. She's a demon. All right. She turns into a ghost and pulls pranks on various houses with the ghost potions. So, I guess this is how it's going to look. You can pull one prank at a time or ten pranks. So, the ghost potions turn her into a ghost, which she pranks houses. Okay. So, every time you uh, prank a house, you can get a reward depending on what house you're on. Now, if let's say you get the first house and you prank it, you go to the second house. If you fail the second house and you don't get, um, I believe it's a, what are these things called? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? He says, grant reward, ultimate reward, will proceed to the... Every prank you pull will grant reward. If the reward is an ultimate reward, a possibly will proceed to the next house. If not, she will retreat to the previous house. If she is at the starting house, she will not retreat any further. There's a chance for Pate to trigger for hidden witch powers as she retreats. This will cause her to stay at the current house. Every prank pull will yield points. When points reach 200, you will get a candy basket. Okay, so... I wish I knew what these were. Can candy? We'll just call it the candy baskets and candies. I forgot the name of them. I apologize. But essentially, when you hit the ultimate reward, you move up to the houses, okay? So when you don't hit the ultimate reward, you go back a house. So you're trying to get, obviously, the sixth house and hit the ultimate reward and keep hitting it. Uh, so if you can get to that last house, I don't know if it resets to one. I'm assuming it would. But if it wouldn't, that'd be kind of bonkers. you just stay at the sixth house the whole time, which would be kind of... I don't know. We'll see how this event goes. It might not be that bad. But... As far as free-to-play light spenders, you're probably not doing this because you can't do capsules. You are only going to be really doing it if you're going to be buying ghost potions with gems, which is 200 gems for a limit of 100. That could change. Remember, Carol Games can change whenever they want to. And, of course, here's your daily missions at this page. I don't know why I just read that. but um, So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 times 7 is what? 42 potions. So 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 is 42. You have 42 potions. And of course, when we have your weekly ones, so it's 2, 4, 6, 10. Or is that a 5? I can't really tell if that's a 5 or a 10. I'm going to assume it's a 2. But uh, if it's a 5, then it's 13. But that's the only way you're really going to get uh, ghost potions if you're free to play or light spinners. Is those right there and your spending gems. I don't know if I would really advocate for it because... As far as rewards go, I I don't know. I mean, it might be good to get some ch some gold and gems, maybe. But even then, because it all depends on, like how far we get in here, right? Like it's forty two, probably get to fifty. If you spend gems, you could get to one fifty. So you have a thousand candy, uh, candy pumpkins, whatever candy, uh. That's not really worth it from the golden juice. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. It doesn't look worth it. Maybe if this was like one uh, candy pumpkin, like the juice and the gold might be worth it to help people get golden juice. But it looks like it's not. So, yeah. But you can just collect your two capsules on the 50 can um, candy right here. Anyways, just for free to play. Because that's how much you probably you get far without spending anything and of course if you just keep scrolling through or looking at this uh in the discord when you click on it it just shows you the rest of the rewards the new apate skin is going to be 475 so you gets 280 for drawing all of capsules and then that's 380 so you're probably spending a couple like a hundred dollars for the skin maybe more i think more than that let's just say it's going to be more than 100 because it's 280 plus 100 is 380 you need another 95 to get to that point, and the $100 is 60 ghost potions. So, well, no, because then you also have weekly stuff, so it's 50-something. So less than 100 maybe $50, something like that. Yeah, because then you just buy the other skin, probably 50 bucks for this one, too, if you did capsule points. Uh, there's another copy of Aurora right there. All right, all right, all right. Keep going, 80 bucks at the end, 1,000 pranks. That's going to be a lot of money. Of course, the outfit 
store is back for not off a store, but the outfit event is gonna be back. Um, I'm just not even gonna cover this. It's a hard skip. Like, I pity. Unless you're super rich, I can see you doing it because you don't care. That's fine. But everybody else, I'm just gonna be like, eh. I don't want to look at it anymore. Of course, monthly kickoff is garbage as always. Gonna go ahead and skip this because it's trash. Uh, value packs, not bad. 115 capsules. Like how we have that still. Uh, 60 ghost potions there. Not bad. A special gift pack. Let's say you can't buy the 100 and you're thinking about buying a 70. It's probably better to grab this one, even though I hate elite badges. You still get more ghost potions and more capsules for buying this special gift pack at 70 than you would a normal 70. So if you can't spend much, and let's say you're contemplating and spending on a 70, buy the special gift pack first before a normal 70. All right. And then, of course, we have your limited two 499 deals. Those are your greatest. If you are a light spender, you're going to be grabbing these 499 deals besides like a monthly pass or something like that. So hit them up to help you out move your account if you're just spending really lightly on stuff or trying to spend smartly, I should say. And of course, if you want your Monica skin, which I do, of course, I love the skins in this game, uh, there's your lovely special skin pack for you. It's not bad for $50. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all we got for you today. Remember, the stream today is going to be at Server Reset. Also, I will be doing a video shortly on the two accounts that I'm giving away on YouTube for you guys. Uh, stay tuned for that. There'll be information on how we can get those acquired for you guys. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video, and happy Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Halloween.